Zoom now owns your private conversations and is using them to train its AI model. Isn't that wonderful? Not really. And yes, you read that correctly. Your private conversations on Zoom are now the property of AI, Zoom's AI data set. Now, let's go back a little bit, first of all, to set the scene. Only a few days ago, August 1st, Zoom reached an $85 million settlement about a lawsuit that alleged violations of user privacy and security breaches, etc. And so the settlement came from allegations that Zoom shared personal user data with the likes of Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, etc. without obtaining adequate consent. Additionally, the lawsuit said that hackers had disrupted Zoom meetings, and there were some very public versions of that that made the news through a practice called Zoom bombing. So as part of the settlement, Zoom agreed to pay $85 million and to enhance its security practices to better protect user data, which you'll find out is quite a farce in a moment. Zoom has committed to se several security measures and to increase data protection and, and you can read on the screen for yourself what these security measures are all about and you know, they include alerting users etc etc et but what's really interesting is that they've done something that bypasses all of this in their new terms of service that's been released so that's where this however comes in. Hot on the heels of this commitment to user privacy, end quote, Zoom has just announced an update to its terms of service that mean every Zoom call you have can be used by Zoom to train its own AI dataset. This is a quote from Zoom themselves. There's the reference up there if you'd like to look it up. We wanted to be transparent that we consider this, your conversation, to be our data so that we can use service generated data to make the user experience better for everyone on the platform. Straight from Zoom. Consider not only the impact, if, for instance, if you're having a commercial in, conf in confidence meeting about something you're investing in, or heaven forbid, you're having a remote doctor's appointment and Big note, users do not have the option to opt out. I've actually already started just today looking for alternatives and I'm really, really sorry to be the bearer of depressing news, but this is just becoming more and more of the world that we're living in. And so I'd encourage each and every one of you, I mean, I've, I've put the link to my book up there on the screen at the moment, but I'd encourage each and every every person to seriously look at the terms and conditions. I mean, we just have a habit of going, oh yeah, click, I'll accept that, click, I'll accept that, yeah. It's, it's a really, really volatile and fast changing world. And my suggestion is just, be aware and just have a look at what data you are actually giving away and what might actually come back to bite you. So I'm really, really sorry to be the bearer of not so phenomenally happy news, but I hope the rest of your day goes swimmingly and magically and fabulous. <laughs> and thanks for listening.